I often work with families who have a really hard time when their dying loved one stops eating. And oftentimes families feel like they really need to force their loved one to eat or force nutrition in their into their loved one's body in some way, even if they're really not like awake and alert or able to swallow. And even if they're not really hungry or wanting food or fluid. So here's an example of why it's really important to listen to the dying person if they are not hungry, if they're not asking for food, really why it's important not to force food and nutrition into a body that is shutting down and preparing for death. I once cared for this dying person who actually had a feeding tube already placed. They, the feeding tube was already placed before they came on to hospice. And what happened was the dying person was really not tolerating artificial feeding any longer, but the family was really insistent on forcing nutrition into the feeding tube into their loved one's body despite this. What ended up happening was because the dying person's body was shutting down, the nutrition that was forced into their stomach actually ended up coming back up through the esophagus into the airway and into the person's lungs. This caused basically immediate respiratory distress, meaning that the dying person really was not able to catch their breath or breathe. They were basically under a lot of distress breathing wise and the person ended up dying almost immediately. They died within a few hours of that happening. 